What up? Look at this. Double glasses, because I forgot my clip over. Like, I have these lenses that are shades that like clip over my new glasses to make them look like prescription sunglasses, because I haven't ordered any yet. Even though I should, they're only like 14 bucks for tinted lenses that are prescription and then I think these frames were 14 bucks for like 30 bucks I could have some stinking glasses I'm leaving right now driving out I don't even know what I'm doing but I'm getting out of the house I got my DSLR I got this little camera on the tripod right now I can swap it out and put the DSLR on that so I think I'm gonna go try to take some pictures of some shiz man Friday vlog! That was a little intense. But, yeah man, Friday vlog. Hit it, get it, quit it, whatever all that crap means. Look at my sick new Raider hat though. I need to get my Easy E going so I can uh, channel some gangster rap. I'm a chain today. Go watch. Man, I'm gonna crash driving like this. But look at them coffee fr freaking trees. Pretty uh pretty scenic out here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take the oh I know what I do. I'm gonna take you guys to end of the world. And we'll go see if there's any uh people jumping off the cliffs today. I ain't gonna do it. My fat ass, I don't have no shorts on. I mean I got shorts, but not swim trunks. But uh Let's cruise end of the world. All right, we're gonna roll out here. Gotta walk down that little pathway. We'll be right out there. That's where we're going. So this is walking up the end of the world. Highways back up there. Golf course right there. And look at all the little. Billy goats. Hold on, let's see if I can zoom in. Somewhere. Oh, they're there. Friggin' goaties. Wild. This gate used to not be here. They just had a post in the middle. Like, right there, there's like a post. And one time we rode our scooters out here, and you're not supposed to. But we rode it out because we didn't want to walk the, uh, distance it takes to get out there because it's a little bit of a little bit of a hike so I bet in the next shot I'm gonna be out of breath because I'm fat I'm wearing black and it's a little bit of a walk but well worth it pretty nice coastline looking little shot right here but that's where we're going right over there that wasn't too cool what I just did, but anyway, that's where we're going. Good. Hope I got the shot. I know I got the shot of me falling in the rocks like a turd. Look at that. There's sharp. A little bit of blood for you guys. Anyway. This shit is sharp though, man. Almost there. Wow. So when you get to the top up here, follow this little trick. Give you a little coastline shot. Walk up the goat trail. Oh, people here. Let's see if they'll jump. I doubt it. So from up there you walk down. Right where those people are standing, that's where you can jump from the tallest point. If you walk down here, down this little trail, and go over to a oh, not as tall spot. So, let me get 
get a better shot. So you can go out here and jump anywhere. I want to say this is like 30 feet up, I want to say, this, this ledge. So you can jump right here. Or where they're standing, you can jump out there, go all the way down, and that one's like 45 feet, I think. Something like that. So, I have yet to do that one. I stood up there, and I just couldn't bring myself to jump. Don't get stuck in there. But, you jump off, right there, land in the water, and right where those waves are breaking right there, you go up there, and there's a little goat trail that goes up right here. You go up this little crevice, you climb all the way back up there. But I never jumped from where he was. There's this lower shelf like right here, and I jumped from there. And that, that was good enough for me to say I've done it once. Didn't really feel like doing it again, but you can pretty much jump out all along here. Pretty deep down there, no rocks. There's a couple rocks over there, but you don't jump out right there, but pretty awesome place it's called end of the world and uh, at night you can see the body glove boat goes out there and does I think like a, a dinner boat ride kind of thing but this is a good spot to come out and chill if you like cliff jumping because it's friggin insane Jumping up there, watch people on YouTube doing backflips and stuff. I wish there was somebody jumping today so we could get some footage, but maybe some other time I'll jump from the little one for you guys. But not today. Not today. Here's a view from the top. Walk down this little bit. You step on that rock right there. And then you bail out. All the way down. And that's where I just was over there. So you can see how how hot how much higher this is up here. I know people jump off right over here too, off these rocks, but mainly it's right here and here because you can not much of a shelf below. Like you only gotta clear like two feet out, you don't even have to jump that far. So but it's pretty cray, man. I think Maui's Definitely. Snack time because I am hungry as hell and I need to get some food. So I'm gonna head into KTA because it's the bomb. I got super good food. So yeah, check out these guys. So good. Let's go see what they got. I know they got a mad donut section. Crazy good donut section. was with this I didn't really dig anything that they had going they did have terry ribs but I was like man I don't know if I need that right off the bat in the morning but oh auntie at the cash register she's pretty pissed off she know like the holies it's all right though they can they can deal with it I don't know they just can't you know I don't, I don't care I want to try this place though it's some kind of bar Thing. and then there's like a pizza place right over here and we haven't eaten there but pizza is really hard to find on the island that's like good so you know you're kind of stuck with Domino's or like Costco but we'll see but yeah that's Tropics Tap Lounge so maybe we'll go there someday and eat and tape it and y'all can watch me eat tape premium see that it even says Premium coffee. This shit is bomb. I wish I could see. Made it down to the uh, old airport. So you can see behind me there. 
That's this is the old airstrip you actually drive on. But uh, haven't really been down here since I've been back. So kind of busy, people around. But uh, let's go check it out. See what's up. chilling. A lot of people eating their lunches and stuff out here because it's a beautiful day. Side pool action. Looks like there's a couple surfers out there. Maybe for the pool It's always nice right on the water. About 15 degrees hotter down here than it is up at my place. Up those little fish, I can't really tell, but I guess I'll know in the editing. All those fish in there. I wonder if that wave's gonna come in this uh, little tide pool and just wipe me out. But look, this is what you gotta be careful for right there. Those things, little urchins, those are what ruin your day. Those hurt. What are you doing? Just uh, being a hermit crab? Hmm? Are you my new friend, Mr. Hermit Crab? Whoa! You don't like that. Gotta leave him alone. Beautiful day. I'm walking out here in the tide pools. Mighty fine looking truck right there. Pretty nice looking and nice backdrop. Whew. Nice and washed. I am gonna go take it in though and have a two inch coil spacer put it on the front to lift it two inches so it's actually even with the back. It's kind of hard to tell on this angle but when it's sitting flat the front is a lot lower. I mean you can you can tell the rear is a lot taller than the front but Hopefully that'll level it out, and uh, then it won't look so uneven. Probably doesn't bother anybody else, but man, it sure bothers me. I just, it's been like that, and I just want to fix it so bad. But, like the sign says, Aloha. Until next time. Airport Beach. We'll see you then. Gonna grab a little for lunch. I don't know why there's an Eiffel Tower on this place, but it is uh, Vietnamese food and it is bomb. So, chew. Get some of this shit to go. Heading home. I got my pho and I also got some short ribs because they're so effing delicious. So, I can't wait to go home and have some bomb food, man. Oh, lunch looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Snake perspective. And it's still like boiling hot and there's all my ingredients. Oh man. Delicious. Cruising now. Just got done at home. We ate a little lunch. I gotta grab stuff for dinner before Rocco gets home. So I wonder what we're gonna have tonight. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you in just a sec. Hands down the best chicken I've ever had at this place. Oh my God, the chicken is so delicious. Foodie, chicken and ribs. Get in a bag, so <laughs> good. It's like the best chicken I've ever had. It's so moist, it's all seasoned, just perfect. I mean, these guys know what's up. And they're out here every Friday, Saturday, and they kill it. You know, they just got, I mean, look at all those chickens. And they're absolutely delicious, man. What up? So it's uh, about 5, a little bit 5.30, but I'm going to uh, try to get the sunset on a time lapse on my GoPro. So I got the GoPro crazy mounted right here. I'm trying to get this. You can see that. Hopefully 
the clouds aren't too thick because you can kind of see a little bit of clouds out there but I'm hoping the sun peeks through but it's kind of overcast so but man it's a pretty killer shot I'm hoping hoping the GoPro gets it so yeah we'll see it'll be at the end of this vlog probably so but I think we're gonna eat dinner and I'm wrapping it up so Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, subscribe. If you haven't, keep up with my channel, man. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.